Previously on Persona 5, we are about to go to the Suspicious Clinic to get some supplies so that we can go to Kamoshida's castle. That's all you have? I want painkillers. You're a pretty weird kid, you know. I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Would you like to know? Ha 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 ha. Costs a lot of money to get these to to get this medicine. Costs so much money just to get like a couple of items. Oh dude, there's an angry man. Why does he look so angry? What's up with him? Are you attempting to create a super stimulant? A drug like that will only become a social issue. Hey, is somebody there? No, no, we're not here. We're not eavesdrop eavesdropping at all, I swear. Could that woman be hiding some extra strong medicine? We should use that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome, my name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Persona 5. We just got some medicine from the punk rock lady and we are preparing to go back to Kamoshida's palace and I'm really excited about this. I want to talk to Morgana, should be you are. Oh, um, uh, of course, I've heard of it before, I just can't remember a time that I've been there. Oh, okay, that's a bit random. What am I doing hey. now? Aren't you going to Shibuya tomorrow? Let's just call it a day and go to sleep. Right, okay. Yeah, I should have known. Every time I leave, like, the game and, you know, save it and turn it off and then come back on, it's always, I've always got to go sleep. <laughs> and I always forget okay. what I'm doing. You're meeting up with Ryuji tomorrow, so don't oversleep. Right, that's right. Tomorrow we are going to meet up with Ryuji and go to the weapon shop to resupply on, like, weapons and stuff like that. Even though I've got, like, basically no money. But hey, Let's, let's go to sleep. Let's see what happens. Tomorrow's Sunday. I'm surprised the weapon shop is open on a Sunday. But okay. <laughs> That's just the way it is. I'm really excited to go back to Kamoshida's. I wonder if this is going to be the last time that we actually go back Stop. to Kamoshida's place. Looks like you made it. Oh yeah, we made it. I like seeing Ryuji in some different clothes. Purple suits him. I love purple, as some of you may know. So, yeah, I like it. I like it on him. Let's go. Okay, let's get going. The shop's over this way. Okay, cool. You lead the way, Ryuji. You lead the way. I'll follow you. Here we are in Shibuya Station, and we to follow Ryuji. You have to follow Ryuji. What will you do if you lose him? I'm sorry. I guess there is a lot of people, but I just like exploring. God damn you all. God damn you silly characters not letting me do what I want. There's nothing that I need to do up ahead. All right, Morgana, put your head back in the in that bag. Can we get a, a lottery ticket? Nope. All right, just plain old follow Ryuji. Where has he gone? I've lost him already. Oh, there he is. Oh God, I'm like, I'm terrible. Please I need like, I I'm like say. a child who needs their hand held. <laughs> I'm getting lost and curious and looking around and everything. Okay, everyone wake up. This country is twisted. Oh man, it's one of these nut jobs, all right. This politician's actually saying some decent things, but not many people are stopping to listen. Hey. Uh, people give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. I totally agree with you, Ryuji. Politics are really boring. I can't stand stuff like that. <laughs> I do get really bored. We're almost there. Just don't get lost in the crowd. Okay. I try not to, but you're running so fast. You're running really fast. Man, this commercial is making me hungry. Let's go get some Big Bang. What the hell? Is that what the food's called? Big Bang? Central Street is this way. Okay, go to Central Street. I love like just like the TVs on the buildings and everything. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh, I really want to go to like Tokyo, Japan, that kind of thing because it looks so cool. All right, here we go to the Central Street. One day I'll get to go to Japan. Let's go. Follow me. The shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Okay, is this like some shady backstreet shop or something? Menacing man, oh god. Hey, you a student? Looking for a part-time job? It's easy money, I can make a recommendation for you. Oh god, what kind of job is it? Hey, you'll lose track of Ryuji if you waste time with this guy. Don't you want some pocket change? I can help you out. Yeah, what kind of work is it? Look, it's easy and it'll net you tons of cash. Just follow me and we'll get you sorted out. I don't trust this guy. Hey, we don't have time for this guy. We're supposed to be getting weapons today, remember? Let's just go after Ryuji. All right, I was just kind of curious. 
I was finally curious, can I go in here? There's no time, nope, I can't go anywhere. I can't go anywhere, but I know we will be able to soon, guys. I know we will soon. I just can't do anything right now. I'm just like a little bit impatient. I just, ah, uh, I just want to go explore everything, but I just can't right now. But I know the time will come. Oh God, he's going down there. Okay, cowardly student. Gah, you surprised me. Don't go into that alley. I just saw a blonde punk just head in. <laughs> it is my friend you're talking about. What do you think you're saying? All right, up here, I'm gonna speak to this dude here. Kind looking young man. What? I'm just out here getting some fresh air. I lost a bunch of games in a row, so I'm taking a break. Ah, casino. He's, he's, uh, we go in the arcade. <laughs> I actually don't like going in arcades very often, so I guess I'm not really that bothered. Hey, what's up? What should I get? I like the spring special burger, but I might just go with the Big Bang like I always do. Ah, that's that Big Bang they were talking about. Oh, look. It looks cute. A cute burger. <laughs> I've never ever said that a burger looked cute before. This is the first time I've ever said that a burger looked cute. But it did. <laughs> nope, your voice is too high-pitched. Women are disgusted by that and they'll ignore you. What? Veteran pickup artist? <laughs> To be honest, I'm feeling like maybe I'm a lost cause. <laughs> what, just because he's got a high-pitched voice? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Listen, women are delicate, like cotton candy. Don't get clumsy and you'll, ha and you'll get to have a taste. Oh, dude, too much information. A lot of strange stuff has been going on lately, so talk about that to break the ice. Got it? Right. Wow. <laughs> Okay, over here. You're late. The movie is already half over. And I really wanted to see this one too. You could have at least told me where you were. You can go to the movies anytime you want. There'll be more opportunities. Oh, how about we rent a DVD instead? We can go back and chill at my place. I was just going to be annoyed by that. I can just tell. I can just. Tell. I guess I, I would be a little bit annoyed. Just like going to get a DVD afterwards. Nah, film's much better, but... You know, depends really. Depends on on like like my mood, I guess. Because cinema's fun and everything. It's expensive, like popcorn and everything. Costs so much money. And sometimes I just like to chill and watch a DVD. So I guess it really depends. Um, I'm gonna go yeah down here now. I think I've explored and talked to everybody. So here we go. This is the shop. Untouchable. Right. Okay. Got a lot of bikes out here. Wow. Lots of bikes. And they're not even chain chained up or anything. We could just steal a bike. <laughs> Hey, what's up Ryuji? This is it, pretty legit, huh? Sure. Oh yeah, now that we're here, you know anything about military stuff? No? I guess worst comes to worst, we can just ask the shopkeep what they recommend. Come on, let's go. Alright. Cool. I know nothing about military stuff, so don't ask me. I don't know about this kind of thing, but, you know, ad stand, okay. This looks like an ad for a model gun. There are all these terms that I don't recognise. Okay, can we talk to Ryuji first? All the stuff in here looks so real. I don't know what I like best. Maybe we should try asking the guy behind the counter. And man, who'd have thunk model guns would shoot real bullets in that palace? I know, right? Hello, dude. Like the hats? Oh, he's got headphones um, up there. You got ears on you on the top of your head. I'm <laughs> just joking. He probably just has it up there. I don't know. Probably just not listening to music right now. You know what you want yet? Nope. I like his tattoo. He's got like a little little like gecko or something or a lizard on his neck. You're looking for recommendations? Yeah. I don't know. Just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Oh really? Wow. Ugh. Some customer service. I know, right? That was terrible. Fine, what do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Is it that easy just to buy guns? It's not here, that's for sure. Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm confused. I know nothing about cars or guns. Listen, this here's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. I'm not a freaking casual. I brought shit from here like last week. Huh. huh. Can't remember you. You bastard. Oh, this guy's rude. And you? Looking for something? Something that looks real. Yeah, something that looks, that looks real, real would work. <laughs> oh, you guys planning a nice big bank robbery or something? 
Whoa. No, that, that ain't it. We just like how they look as all. <sighs> Anyways, you should have said before, you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. So if we're not enthusiasts, you won't help us? <laughs> Some precautions first though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. We'll be careful. We know that stuff already. We hate the cops. Okay. Um, we'll be careful, I promise. You damn well better be. Alright, come down. Look. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel different. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff though. If you got the guts for it, of course. Ah, we've got to get our gut stat points up. But for now, you get the beginner's selection. Just sit tight, I'll bring them out. Okay. We did it, dude! We totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? I want them to shine. <laughs> oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. Okay. Oh, nice, he gave us some money. Oh, good, because I was worrying. I was kind of like, we got no money at all. How are we going to buy something? I hope we can... um. We can actually afford something good with the money we have. Okay, we can buy a melee weapon, a ranged me weapon, a protector, or an accessory. Can we sell? Okay. We can't. We got no sellable items. Hang on, treasure. Right. We can sell our old knife. Like, I wonder if there's like, is there anything like for your old weapons? Like, is there anything you can do for like crafting or anything? Because I guess for now I'll just keep them because I don't really know like if you can do anything with weapons afterwards because some games you can like combine old items into the new ones and stuff like that. I don't know if that's okay. what happens here but just in case I'm just gonna just gonna keep it. Okay. Multi the Fool. Hey! <laughs> okay, um, we Sounds can good. buy a new dagger for one of our characters. Yeah, this has more attack. What else is right, there? For Ryuji, one? he has, you know, more weapons. Good. Morgana has more stuff. All right, I wonder one? if we'll, like, find any of this stuff, like, in chests or anything. All or right. about ranged weapons. Multi. I don't know what to go for. I don't know what to go for. All right, which one? I don't know which one. I don't know. Protector? Okay. What's this? Maybe Sounds I should good. go for all, um, like, armor or something. That could be cool. A space age shirt that maintains body heat. Oh cool, it's got like effects on it too. Resist freeze, resist sleep, agility plus two. I'm not sure what N is. Is N like health? I think it's health, right? I'm not sure. I'm trying to think what um the stats mean from like other games I've played. But I think I'm not sure. Right. Let's see. All right. Which one? We got resist freeze and magic. Good, I think MA is magic. Magic, HP, yeah. Alright, All right. so let's see. All accessories. Right. Let's have a look at accessories. We got SP, Shoka that helps open up the chakra. HP. I guess we might I might go for the chakra choker because, you know, I've heard Sounds that, good. you know, SP is hard to come by on this right. game. Which and one? you know, I'm kind of hoping that we're gonna find some chests and stuff All on right. the way. Which and one? you know, I've only got five thousand though. It means I can only get one thing. Mm. But oh well, I'll, oh well, I'll just get it, I'll just okay. get it. It's not like we can buy like a whole lot here anyway. So there we go. What hip glasses? No, I'll I'll keep my glasses. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I think we I think we're done. Yeah, right, let's go here. back. Right, can I go onto my menu and see like because I had these glasses. All right, accessory. I got this chakra choker. Ah, so the glasses didn't even do anything anyway. So that's good. We just you know I just got something that actually does something now for accessories. I don't think that's it. I wonder if the accessories actually show up on the character. I don't think they do, do they? Ah, I like it when games do that. What did we put on him again? We put on a chakra choker. Now I don't think, nah, it doesn't show up, but like it doesn't like on Lost Odyssey when you put like um, accessories on, it actually shows up on the character, which I found really cool. It's a really old game on the Xbox 360. It's an RPG game and I liked putting the cat ears on him because it'd be like, you know, he'd be like a man with like these little cat ears. He <laughs> looks so cute. <laughs> okay, um, do we talk to you now? What, what are we doing? Huh? They've got all sorts of shit in here, don't they? Yes, they do. All right, can we go? You're going home already? Anyways, I'll have you do the choosing from now on. Get me the strongest looking one. Is he talking to the shopkeeper? Is he still buying stuff? Oh my God, I'm leaving. You hear? Boss, did you hear? Did he hear what? 
Apparently, that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. He's talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. There's no way a preposterous story like that could be true. Oh, and sorry, but we're closing soon. Hmph. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should let me take over the cafe. I would be better. You're just too rough around the edges, Sakura Sodre. Let us have a go. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. <laughs> Ow! Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. I like how he just like completely ignores what he says. He's just like, thank you, come again. <laughs> Oof. I only say this out of politeness, but thanks for the coffee. <laughs> Funny. Jeez. What a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. Oh yeah, because that's entertaining. <laughs> How's business? You treat patrons like that? How are you still open? Yeah, how are you still open? I don't know what to say. Like, I guess like he doesn't want to be, you know, he doesn't want to be pushed over by the customers, but still, I don't know. How's business, I guess? Doesn't concern you. Oh! It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. Yeah, that's... that's true. I guess that's good in a way. But it wouldn't be that great for business. <laughs> but I kind of understand what he means because like when you work in like shops and stuff like that you have to like fake be nice to people don't you and it's like really annoying I really don't like doing it either so I kind of understand what Sojiro is going through here but at the same time it's just like he's gonna like not get as many customers if he does this I think some people might like it but other people won't so I don't know tough situation right there is that a motto of yours but what if it does fail uh, but what if it does fail? Then what? What's he gonna do then? Mm. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up living out on the streets. My god, he's irrational, but alright. <laughs> as long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it, but I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. <sighs> right, no pressure, guys. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. Okay. I'll try not to. Best behaviour, peeps. Best behaviour. Right, we're back in our room. Oh, pee 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 pee. So I went to see Shiho in the hospital. Alright, cool. Is she any better? Uh, how was she? Her condition is stable. That's good. They don't know when she'll regain consciousness though. I'm sure she'll be okay. Yeah. She'll get better. I know it. I just need to believe in her. I believe. But I'll never forgive Kamishida. He's going to pay for what he did, no matter what. Okay. We're just about ready to go to the palace. Oh, we're ready. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, clean the table. Hey. No, not there. Let's put it on the work desk. Oh. What work desk? Do you mean the one you're sat on? Okay. I'll teach you all about how to make infiltration tools. Hey, you need to clean up your desk first though. Get on it. Hey, don't demand. Tell me what to do. Stupid do oh, maybe this one. Ah, uh, yeah, this one. Right. That desk. Hurry, hurry now and clean this up. All right, let's clean this up. I'm not in the mood. How about you help me, Morgana? I guess you can't because you're a cat, but... <laughs> okay. I guess that was a stupid question, but hey, you should. You should help me. You could, like, grab, like, the books in your mouth or something and move it somewhere else. <laughs> Great. Now you can make things whenever you want. Cool. Now you can create infiltration tools at this work desk. Nice. Well then. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lockpick. Oh my god, look at the little, like, little evil icon next to it. That's awesome. Okay, with the necessary materials, you can make infiltration tools. These can be beneficial when exploring palaces, so be sure to try them out. Materials can be collected from defeated shadows in palaces and from shops in town. Try visiting different shops to see what items are in stock. 
Making tools will cause time to pass, but will improve your proficiency. As your proficiency grows, the amounts of infiltration tools you can make at a time will increase. Try raising your proficiency to become more efficient. Right, makes sense. Don't think too hard about it, you'll get the hang of it. Okay, we have no lockpicks, but it makes you need silk yarn and tin clasp to make it. And oh, we do we do have um, plant balm, but we only have one, we need two. Oh, I wonder what that is. Stelphenol. I wonder what that is. Alright, well, we'll make a lockpick, I guess. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? Alright, let's make it. Our first infiltration tool. Oh, yes. What are your thoughts? Did you finish? I got it. Yay. Hey. Great, we should be able to, yeah. to use this. Look at the way Morgan is sat. <laughs> Yay! We got some proficiency! Although I'm still bumbling. I guess this is the title for all of the um, all of the stats. So charm, we're existent, so we exist. <laughs> Kindness, we are inoffensive. We are bumbling for proficiency. Our guts is milk toast? Mil mil milkway toast. What the hell is that? <laughs> and then knowledge, we are oblivious. Okay, interesting. Right. We got some more proficiency, so okay. that's cool. We should be ready now. All right, we're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. That sounds like a really good idea. We're gonna need a really good night's rest before we go to the palace. This is going to be really awesome, really fun. Finally gonna take down the very first villain. Yay, I'm excited for this. It's gonna be so cool. Hey. Good morning, come on, hurry up and get to class. Oh God, good morning. Good morning, I guess. That's admirable behaviour. Won't do you any good once you're expelled. Ah, shut up. <laughs> Stupid guy. Right, we're in class. We've got text messages. we got some texts. So I saw Kamishida at the school gate this morning. What a coincidence, me too. <laughs> he was just standing there looking at me with this shit-eating grin on his face. Ew, shit-eating grin. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> Ugh, that's annoying. He was probably mocking you. Honestly, seeing that got me even more fired up about this. Yeah, I'm worried about Shiho, but I want to concentrate on our operation too. And I won't let myself get exhausted like last time. The board meeting's May the 2nd, right? We just gotta take care of him before then. Okay, I'm ready for this. I'm totally ready. Same goes for me. Me too. I'll do my best. No going in without me, okay? Yeah, you better let us know if you're going into the palace. Alright. I guess we can't just ditch them and go on our own. But I don't know why we'd do that anyway. That'd be a little bit stupid okay. of, of us. Alright, it's so after school, guys. Looks like it might be time to go. It's finally time to set the plan in motion. Are we meeting on the rooftop? I bet the others are ready to go and are waiting on the signal. Well, I'll leave the planning to you. Now you can spend your time freely after school. Try to steal your target's hearts by the deadline. Yeah, we can do what we want, I guess. Palace infiltration deadline. If you cannot execute the plan by the deadline, then it's game over. Keep vigilance and be aware of the time remaining. Oh God, pressure's on now, guys. Palaces contain many strong enemies. Consult with your allies and make use of the various facilities in the city to ensure a successful infiltration. Okay, okay let's, let's take go. Kamashida's twisted hearts. By connecting online, you can check what actions other players choose to take at the same time on the same day. Press the touchpad to see the activity log of other players. Well, that's pretty cool. To turn this feature off, open the main menu by pressing triangle. Okay, so if I press the touchpad, accessing, everyone's average level is 6, what? <laughs> daily life, 12% spent on the daily life, so studying at the library, went home, then it's 58% into the palace, and 30% confidence. So it looks like everybody is like spending most of the time in the palace and with confidence, so it's like dating and stuff, right? I think. I know, pretty interesting to see stuff like that. Anyway guys, 
I am now going to stop the episode here for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.